And, and just because um, I mentioned it to you before, Sean's watching as well and you remember him from... I do, yes. Hello, Sean. Hello, I haven't seen Sean for a long time. Um, Sean lost his lovely mum, Bridget, a few years ago and um, that's how I met you, Sean. I hope you're well. I think you're a dad now as well. I think so. Is Sean there? Is he? Sean is there. He just went OMG. Yeah. He is a dad, isn't he? He's got a little one. How old is your little one now, Sean? I think uh, Sean's mostly you remembered um, his mother's name. I just remember that as your profile. It was always Bridget's son. And you know what's really funny? I think I think we have um, tweeted or messaged since. Well, you sent me a message and I said I understand that now. And I remember I remember being moved by it then, and I'm I'm even more moved by it now. And I hope that when I'm old and gone, my <coughs> my kids refer to themselves as Norina's son or daughter. It's Sean's uh, son or daughter, I don't know, but oh, he's awesome and he's four on August 31st. Wow. So. See, we're all growing up together, aren't we, all of us? We're all getting old. <laughs> we're, all, we're all either going to university or leaving university or getting married or having children. Or I've even had people get divorced in, in the time. I don't, don't, don't know why I laughed. I meant that as a kind of... I was trying to say it encompasses all... Final question here, and if you know the answer to this, I'll be fairly amazed, but you probably will. Me and my friend, this is from Laura, MO2, me and my friend were wondering whether you wrote Lady Laura or Lovely Laura on my EP. It would be lovely, probably, but I've got rubbish writing. I used to have incredibly neat writing, and I don't know what's happened to it. I do write a lot still. I, I, I read... Um, I'm trying to think who wrote a blog recently about that. Somebody I follow on Twitter or someone's blog I read. I've got a feeling it's David Hepworth's blog. About the fact that because we're all typing and we're all using technology that the art of writing will be dead. But I love writing. I, I love the feel of... I'm really fussy as well. I have to have black ink and it has to be a Parker ink pen. I can't, I, I've got posh ink pens and, and they're lost on me. I'm fucking hopeless with them. It has to be a plastic, 6 99 job. I've got about five of them. And uh, fine nib, or no, medium nib, not fine nib. I don't like fine nibs, they're a bit scratchy and the ink doesn't flow as well. Um, and I love it when you have a fresh piece of paper, you know, A4. Um, the first side is really nice, but it's even nicer when you turn it onto the side that you've not written on, because the ink flows even more freely. It's very satisfying. Can you tell I really like doing exams? Maybe, maybe on that note, <laughs> you should play some more music. I should. Um, tonight I'm going to dedicate this song. Um, it's quite fitting actually, it's a week tomorrow, it's Father's Day. Um, but tonight I'm playing this, I'm playing it for all of you always, but I'd like to dedicate it to Julie, um, who's in... Uh, Northern Ireland, well, not strictly Northern Ireland, I think you're south of the border, but you're still Northern Ireland Ireland, as it were, um, who I believe met her dad for the first time yesterday or today, the first time yesterday or the day before, quite a momentous thing, um, and very brave of you, so I hope that went well, and um, this is for you. Dad's not famous, but he is to me. Cause he says we're all different, all special, you see. And that's not words from some old book laying lonely on a shelf. That's a Come and know, just forget 
we shall be the only one. Can I lay my head down? You say every little thing's gonna be okay. No. Mm-hmm. 